Hello, my name is Dave Schulke. And I'm Jim Schulke. We're, We're with the TwinPlumbers.com. We're here to talk about and answer the question, what's the difference between snaking and hydrojetting? That's right. So what we're going to do today is live here at our training facility is actually illustrate first the snaking method. So Juan, can we go ahead and show that to him please? We're ready. So before we start, I want to show you exactly what we put into this line, which is paper products, roots, and sludge. Right, which are the most common causes of backups. All right, Juan, let's, uh, let's go ahead and put it into action. stoppages which is the roots and the sludge have hit a fitting so the stoppage now is going to take a little bit more effort to go through that actual fitting that's right all right well now that the cable's gone through the entire length of the pipe we're going to go ahead and extract the cable out and let's see what the cable actually retrieved Well, there you have it. It actually pulled out more of the paper product than anything else. Um, obviously, if there's uh, massive roots in that line uh, that are coming in from a break, the cable method is not going to be as effective. But as you can see, it does a pretty good job with removing that soft stoppage. So now that we've retrieved the cable from the drain pipe, we're going to go ahead and take a really good look and see if uh, the cable left anything inside the line. Let's go ahead and look at that, Jim. Right here, Dave. Yeah, as you can see right here, in fact, let me get a light. As you can see right here, it did a pretty good job breaking it down, but it did leave a, a lot of the debris left inside the pipe, especially here at the fitting area. So let's go ahead and see what hydrojetting does compared to what the cable method did. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate the hydrojetting process. And, but before we do that, I wanted to go over with Juan, our hydrojetting technician here, what hydrojetting is. Well, it's a way to clean the pipe with the high pressurized water at about 4,000 psi. This particular one shoots 12 gallons a minute. This is called a laser pointing, a laser penetrating tip. And it goes down the pipe, 
and we will start whenever you guys are ready. So Ron, before we start though, as the tip's going down the pipe, is the water blasting in reverse or blasting forward? There's one going forward. Okay. And there's multiple coming back, okay. which propels it down the pipe and through the blockage. Okay, perfect. Now, for this demonstration, we went ahead and installed some regular toilet paper as well as roots. And downstream, just like we did the cabling, uh, the, we added the sludge as well. So uh, we just wanted to compare apples to apples so you can see uh, the difference in, in the two different methods. Uh, go ahead, Juan. Let's go ahead and fire that up. So the stoppage is completely cleared now. Back. As you can see, here's the head of it right here with the stoppage completely removed. You got it, Warren. So as we're removing the hydrojetting hose, let's go ahead and see what the hydrojetting method left behind.